Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another what's on my face video. I'm having so much fun filming these you guys, especially because I used some fun new products as well. So if you're interested in seeing what I use to create this makeup look, just keep watching. Okay guys, it's like a free for all in my makeup room right now. So I have my two dogs and my cats in here. So if you hear any kind of weird noises, disclaimer, they're all in here. I feel so bad because when I close my door to film, Teddy sits out there and he's like scratching away and then I just like, it's a full blown guilt trip. So it's rough out there in these streets. Anyway, I did separate out all the products I used on my face today. I do have false lashes on. It's kind of a big deal because I never usually do that for YouTube videos. Also, if you guys are curious, I will link my shirt down in the description box as well as these earrings. Fun fact, it's pretty much all from Target. I love shopping at Target. Anyway, let's get into the makeup stuff because it's really good. The first thing I did use, well not the first thing, but one of the things I used on my face today is this guy. This is the MAC Strobe Cream. I do love putting this stuff on, especially if I don't use my Juno oil. I like to use this because it gives you that extra little bit of hydration. I am so excited for the new Fix Plus that's going to have like the gold flecks in it or whatever, gold sheen or whatever. Anything to make me look more highlighted, I'm obsessed with. And uh, the reason I own this is because Desi Perkins talks about how she just puts this on for no makeup, makeup days and stuff like that. And I just thought it was such a cool idea. And this now comes in different shades, so I have the shade Gold Light, in case anyone's wondering. The other MAC product, I used a few different MAC products today, is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in the Coconut Scent. This I bought when MAC's MAC Fix Plus Scented was not permanent, so they used to sell them in these little bottles and such a freaking ripoff. But uh, I love coconut, if anyone knows me, they know that, and uh, so... Yeah, I have that little guy and I'm trying to use it up so that I can uh, make more room in my collection for other things. I also use the Sony Kashuk sponge. I have talked about this before on my channel. Love this guy and I also love that it has this like marble effect. I mean, how cute is that? Next item is my go-to liquid liner. This is the Ink Liner by Makeup Forever. This is the second one I've owned and I'm actually planning on picking another one up during the VIB sale. I love this eyeliner. It's nice and matte. It's not shiny. It does last quite a long time. The only problem I have with this is sometimes it bleeds in my inner corner, but uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. So I do really like that and I love the little applicator and it gives me a really nice sharp wing. So that's always nice. Still using the Roller Lash by Benefit. This used to be one of my more favorite mascaras. Um, but now I don't love it so much, but I have a few backups because I bought them during the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty, so I do need to use those up. My go-to liquid lipstick of all time is Lolita by Kat Von D. This has to be my most worn liquid lipstick, and I absolutely love this color for my skin tone. I think this is like the perfect mommy nude shade for tan skin girls. I also use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I finally pulled out a new one. The old one I had... I literally used for like, I don't know, the last two years I feel like. So I finally decided it was time to whip out a new one. I cannot live without this product. It does a great job at holding down my brows. And I also like to use this for taming baby hairs in case you guys needed a good life hack. There it is from me. The glitter on my eyes today is the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. Everyone loves these heavy metal glitters and I do too. And I like these because the base of this is clear but it has a ton of glitter, so you can actually use it not just as an eyeliner, but if you wanna do a full-blown glitter lid, you can just layer this on and it'll look fan-freaking-tastic on you. My go-to brow product is the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Chocolate. I've used this for quite some time. I'm nowhere near hitting pan, but it is a product I use every freaking day, so. Love that stuff. I'm not a pomade kind of girl, in case you guys were wondering. To go with my brow powder is my go-to brow brush. And this is the Anastasia Brow Brush. I don't know what number this is, but I love this precise angle. It fits so well here on the front of my brows and does a really good job with creating hair-like strokes. And I also love the spoolie on the other end. Blush for the day is this guy by MAC. This is MAC Lovejoy. 
I love this. It's so subtle. It has like a mauve color with a little bit of sheen. So this is like a great nude blush for me. And uh, I would recommend it. Next is my lash glue. I have recently purchased this. This is a Huda Beauty lash glue. And honestly, it says on here it is fast drying. And that is so freaking true. This thing dries so fast. And it is the least messy lash glue I've ever owned. I love this more than any other lash glue. I've tried Ardell. I've tried House of Lashes. The Huda one is actually the best one I've tried for me. Personally, that's my opinion. So... Take it however you will. My go-to sharpener is the Urban Decay Grindhouse. I've had this forever. I don't think you ever are going to need to repurchase this item. But if you're looking for a solid sharpener that is going to sharpen your products well, this is going to be your go-to guy. If you guys need a good eyelash curler recommendation, I love this one by Sephora Collection. I've actually previously owned one by Sephora Collection as well, and that one lasted a really, really long time as well. So I really like the Sephora Collection lash curler and it is very affordable and very well made. So for my eyeliner today, of course, I have to use the Pat McGrath Labs in Extreme Black. This is my favorite black eyeliner and I feel like this is going to be the only eyeliner I use for the rest of my life. So just get on board and try that product out because it's that good. This is the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. I don't think this does anything like overly exceptional for my eyelashes. I do like the brush on this because it's really good at getting into your under eyes, but I wouldn't repurchase this with my own money. It's just a little sample. I have also been trying out the Laura Mercier, what is this called? The Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in 3W is the shade I got. I really wanted the foundation of this to work for me and I couldn't find the right shade, so I decided to give the, the concealer a try because the foundation was extremely nice and full coverage. I've worn this a few times. I don't feel like it's that full coverage, really. Um, but it does last pretty well, and it does blend nicely. So I'm going to keep testing this out and see what I think. And you guys know my trusty Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm trying to pan this this year. So I did use this particular powder to set my eye. It's in Diffuse Light, and then the bronzer I used is the Lightning Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light, I believe. I do really like the Hourglass formula for their powder products. I do know they've expanded their bronzer shades. They've added two more. But their full-size bronzer is $50, which I think is freaking insane. So I'm just going to use this palette up and live with myself. Okay, guys. Last few products are some of my new favorites. We have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Saddle Bronzer. This is one I'm trying out, so I wouldn't recommend like running out and getting it, but I'm still trying it out, and this is very powdery, so you only need like a little bit of product. Don't like try to dig in there because you're going to kick up way too much product. This highlighter is so freaking basic, but it's so good. This is the Anastasia Amrezy Collab Highlighter. It looks exactly like So Hollywood, so if you already have that highlighter, I would completely pass. I have So Hollywood. I've been comparing the two. I really feel like I should return this, but I just love the packaging so much. And it's like, would it be so bad for me to have two? I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, the last item I want to show you guys is the Soft Glam Palette. Now, I will show you this in a haul video, but today was actually my first time wearing this on my eyes. You know, true to Anastasia's form, these shades did blend well. I wore the shade Burnt Orange in my crease, Sienna in my crease, Fairy in my inner corner, and then Bronze on my lid, and it was just so fantastic. I love this palette. I'm so into neutrals, you guys know. I mean, I've started playing with color, but an eye look like this is just my go-to, and I love this, like, camel-colored packaging. Ugh, it's such a beautiful palette, so... If you've been on the fence about picking that up, I would recommend. I know I said that was my last item, but I did want to mention my foundation. I forgot to grab it, but I will throw up a picture of it so you guys know which one it is. But you guys, this Estee Lauder foundation is so underrated. It is so full coverage, and I've had this on for about, I don't know, 8 plus hours. Because we went, we got ready at like 9 this morning, and we went to church and blah 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 and got home and I'm filming now it's like almost 8 o'clock at night and it's held up so well this is such a great foundation so long wearing 
I wish they would expand the shade range, but the shade I wear is the same shade I wear in my double wear, and it works great, and I just love this guy, and it really works on my skin tone in the winter time, so if you're looking for an awesome full coverage, like a really, really full coverage foundation, this one by Estee Lauder is bomb skis. Okay guys, that is everything from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye!